Hi guys, Vertus Education here with episode 3 of the CryEngine 3 SDK Beginner Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over the user interface to hopefully get you familiar with it, ready for the upcoming tutorials in, over the duration of the next uh, few uh, videos. So, having said that, I'm not necessarily going to be teaching you how to use CryEngine per se in this episode. Instead, I'm just going to be going over the user interface so you can follow along over... Uh, the duration of the series. So, having said that, let's just get into here and uh, yeah, so one quick disclaimer I want to put out there is that I will be going over the user interface, however I'm not necessarily going to be going over all the different parameters, properties and all the different options and so on that we have available to play with. Instead, I'm going to be going over those in uh, separate videos when I actually come to, come to them and actually need them. For example, I'm going to be going over the uh, terrain editor in, in, in detail when I actually teach you how to create your own terrains rather than just cramming tons and tons of incoherent stuff into one single video. So, having said all that, let's finally get into uh, this episode and start going over the user interface. So, there is a few main areas which you need to take uh, quite good attention to. So, those main areas are the viewport, the uh, command console, or just the, com uh, the console, the roll-up bar, the configuration menu up at the top and then lastly you have your tools along here. So just to quickly reiterate we have our viewport, our console, our, ro uh, our roll up bar, our toolbox and our configuration menu. So it's time to go ahead and try and explain what each of these are. So firstly we have the viewport. This is the big box that you have inside of your editor and this essentially allows us to view what our game and level actually looks like and most importantly we can play test and debug and just you know go into our game and uh, yeah also whenever you're making modifications to your world you are doing them in 3D space having said that you'll be dragging and dropping objects into your viewport and selecting them and modifying them uh, that way so just keep that in mind. Now, I will also be dedicating an entire video to viewports, uh, navigation inside of the viewport, and some basic transformation tool stuff and so on in the next video. So, the next section is the uh, the command console, or just the console that we have down here. This little console essentially allows us to um, to see all the errors in our levels and then having used those er those that er uh, error information we can then go ahead and fix them or if it's just anything which might be a an issue you know we can just go ahead and uh, rectify that now for the most part we won't necessarily be using the console too much it's just mainly for debugging and finding any er errors that might pop up for example when you put in a character you might want to see which animations are missing or something along those lines so the next is your uh, tools over here. Now, for the most part, these tools are dominated by the uh, the transformation tools and some of the more generic uh, functions that we have available to us. So, having said that, we've got our undo and redo up here, and then next to that, we've got our transformation tools. These transformation tools essentially allows uh, allow us to translate. Uh, items, so that translation being uh, moving them in 3D space, whether it's just up, down, left or right, or we can rotate them, and we can also choose um, like the axes which they go on and whether or not they stick to a certain object. For example, we can make these objects stick along the terrain or terrain and objects and so on and so forth. I do greatly advise that you check out some of these um, different things that we can play around with here. The transformation tool stuff is mainly on this line here, so look into it, play around with it, experiment, do whatever you like. Next, we have the ability to go into a bunch of different editors down here. Now, I'm not necessarily going to be touching on any of this stuff here. Just the main important stuff here is the terrain editor, which you can open by pressing the little terrain bit here. Next, you've got the texture editor, your time of day editor, and then most importantly, your material editor. And as I said previously, you can indeed... Uh, I mean, as I said earlier... I will indeed be going over all of these different editors as they are required in later tutorials. But for the most part, they are pretty self-explanatory. You'll be making your materials in your material editor. You'll be making your uh, making and modifying your terrain in the terrain editor. 
and so on and so forth and I'll be going over those properties as they are required so the next section is your little menu which you have over here most of these I have the generic uh, functions available to us you know file new open save and so on and so forth however we also have the option to uh, configure and play around with some different settings for the editor itself uh, in um, relativity to certain objects for example if I was to go to a group go to the group bit I can then just group certain objects or if I go to the terrain section I can edit my terrain and any other properties that might be somewhat uh, related to terrains for example I can resize it I can reload it and then a few environment settings but those aren't important and uh, for example if I go to sound and so on and so forth just go ahead and play around with some of these whether it's just some of the generic functions like file new open or terrain sound AI or even the configuration ch uh, settings changing the quality uh, that you view stuff for example changing from PS3 to uh, sketch mode or whatever you like you know just play around with some of these and see what you can do with them. So once you've had a quick experiment and so on and so forth, whether it's any of the stuff I just listed, you know, just uh, let's go on and move to the next and most important section. That most important section being the roll-up bar. Now you will be using the roll-up bar quite a fair bit over the duration of the series. These, uh, this roll-up bar actually has a bunch of tabs which allow us to modify certain uh, types of items. For example, in the modeling tab over here, if you just go and click it, you can then do um, a bunch of modeling related stuff where we're making our brushes and so on. In the terrain tab, we can go ahead and, mod and uh, modify our terrain. Then in the objects tab, we can just go ahead and uh, play around with some different objects and actors and bring them into the scene. Having said that, the roll up bar will probably be your main source of getting stuff into your level, whether it's AI, sounds, prefab, solid brushes whatever you will be bringing them in through your roll-up bar so for example if I go to objects here go down to entity and to look at some of the different types of actors that we have here you can see we've got quite the variety just go through some of these drag and drop them into your scene whatever it might be something like this drag it in you know that's essentially what we do with our roll-up bar will be uh, dragging in objects from there, we'll be then modifying them using the terrain and objects tab. Now there is a few other two tab. There is a few other tabs which you can uh, play around with. There is the layers tab. I don't necessarily need to explain what layers are. It essentially just works like any other uh, package with a layers system in it. It allows you to group uh, certain actors and objects into a uh, yeah, group and then modify them globally or you know just do it in a slightly more organized way and we've also got some display settings so we can turn off things like fog, de decal textures, the ocean, particles, blah 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 you know all that stuff so yeah also one last thing I want to note about the user interface is that you can uh, customize it fully inside a CryEngine so for example if I didn't want my roll up bar to be on the right like this I can go ahead and click the strip here and then drag it anywhere else as anywhere else I might want so for example I can put it onto the left hand side of my screen like this or if I wanted to I can drag out the co uh, command console or just the console and then make it bigger smaller whatever you want to do with it so keep that in mind and you can actually tell which uh, which of your different parts of the interface is active at the moment by the little blue strip so as I said play around and experiment with the user interface see what you can do ready for the next few uh, tutorials now as I said you know you should be familiar with the user interface at this point and you should know some of the basic terminology that terminology being the viewport the console the roll-up bar, the configuration menu, and your tools, and hopefully you should know what they, uh, what you can do with them. So I will see you in the next video. Comment, like, and subscribe if you need any help. Make sure you check out documentation, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.